Hi everybody and welcome back. Happy Bird here with Nancy Drew, Midnight in Salem. Uh, we're gonna finish talking to Alicia, just finish out all these speech options, and then we're gonna head back to Lauren and investigate her shop a little bit. Sorry I clicked that up, uh, but I wanted to come and ask Alicia about the key that Lauren had mentioned. So, let's get back to it. We got that key. After we talked to both of them, we're gonna head to the Hathorn house. Happen to have the code for the evidence room door? Nope, sorry. He hasn't given that to me yet. And knowing him, he's probably already lost it. What did you mean when you said the people here are not your type? Oh, you probably know by now. You've been around town, right? I have. It's all people with minds as small as the town itself. I don't mean to sound harsh, but uh, you know, you thinking of uh, so Fallout Four. Yeah. We were in Salem, and it's that rather small in that game, at least. I know it's a video game, but... Oh, nothing much. Maybe Salem is really small. Sometimes I just wish this place Sorry, you, Salem, bigger. to misrepresent you. Know? More progressive. Imagine if I've been town. confused that you're you quite think big. That could happen. <laughs> a woman can dream. See you later. She doesn't like it here. I like this picture. I have a similar one of a single succulent. It's a watercolor on my wall. It's a print, but... Pretty cool. Get Addle back to the tea shop. Ah. As we step outside, whose car is this? It's Jason's car. Mm, I said we go finish out Lauren's speech, so let's let's go talk to Lauren. Couple more things I wanted to ask you. <gasps> mint? I love mint, you guys. I love it. Shoot. What kind of herbs do you have here? Ooh. The kind that helps people ease their burdens. Since cold season started, this soul garlic Between managing the shop itself and preparing remedies, it's getting harder to keep up. I don't mind lending you a hand with preparing the remedies, if that's okay with you. I love learning new things. This is going to yes. be so much fun. This book looks really Be boring. extra careful. The knowledge must be centuries old, if not more. Why, why don't you make a photocopy of it? Oh boy. It's too bad. I write this book as a memory saved. And my knowledge gathered will live on through you. The healing graces given by nature are never to be forgotten. And so I wish for nothing but for you to walk the path our family has been offered. Heed this wisdom that you won't take life for granted. So spend it in meaning and purpose. Take pride in wisdom learned and stay humble for what remains unknown. The tuba. All right, so we need to mix nature together. Grind it on up. Only add three doses of the same herb when the patient's suffering has become unbearable. For most, one extra dose will suffice. Oh, here we got some. Okay, so we have some instructions on what helps with what. What? Oh, it's locked. Oh. Yeah, I lost the key to that one. You lost the key. Okay. It has to be somewhere around here. I would never bring it home with me. Let me know if you find it. Okay. It fits. Marjoram. Wonder what this herb is used ah, for. Ah, sweet marjoram. These are the notes she took when discussing the ailments with the her patients. Indigestion, nausea, abdominal mix of herbs to cure these. Liver conditions. Okay, so indigestion, nausea, liver conditions. Let's do this. Uh, digestion. So cinnamon, indigestion. Would we say ginger is helping with nausea? This is. Vomit and loathing brought up from the stomach. <laughs> is that nausea? Okay, so cinnamon and ginger. And liver issues. So we're looking for the word liver. Alright. Um our lady's thistle. So the so the thistle. Uh ginger and cinnamon. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you. So our next our next prompt is migraines and nausea. So we know that ginger helps with nausea and migraines. Let's take a look. So fever few is for pains in the head. What is fever few? 
Do we this one? Sage. Sage. Chamomile. Feverfew. This one. Feverfew. Ginger. Light nausea and moderate migraines. Good. You're getting the hang of things. Um, nausea and anxiety. So we know that ginger helps with nausea. Okay. And anxiety. We need chamomile for anxiety. I'll put it with the rest. Great work. The thing with that one was, I guess we needed two bits of ginger and one thing of chamomile. Right. A commercial grade tea machine. Let's see. Fancy. All right. I just have a couple more things I wanted to ask you. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but where were you on the night Hathorn House was burned down? I was coming home from work, crossing through the cemetery. I could see the orange glow. By the time I got home, it was almost all gone. You were the first person to see the fire? Well, yeah. I was going home, and that's where the fire was. You know the fire might help you keep your home. I know that now, but I didn't before. It's a slim chance at best. I'd rather it was home and shown to be mine by right. But if that's not an option? Nothing could make me want to destroy it. I forgot to mention, I was speaking with Alicia and she mentioned that she needed to talk to you. It sounded urgent. Shoot, I forgot I had an appointment with her. Um, do you need me to watch the shop? You would? Really? You sure? Yeah. I know where all the heavy hitters are. Cinnamon, pow. Ginger, bam. Eh, I got it. Oh, that's great. Thanks. I'm really warming up to this Nancy. I really am. Gosh, these pastries look delicious. I'm just gonna eat a couple of these. Jeez, there's no way she's gonna sell all of these. Gosh. Okay, so I guess we can just click on this paper out here. My dear Lauren, as I write this, you are sound asleep in your crib in the next room. There is so much to say, but I hope you won't have to find any of this out from reading this letter. Because if you do, it will mean I couldn't be there to tell you any of this in person. The book you have in front of you has been passed down in our family for generations. It's the original herbology book written by Tituba, one of the poor souls accused during the 17th century witch trials in Salem. Legend has it she was made free and roamed the world, uncovering knowledge and wisdom on how to remedy all sorts of ailments, she was quite impressive. Our lineage stems from her. Had her accusers had their way, neither me nor you would be here today. This book is proof of our right to exist, of everything good that can come from allowing a wrongfully accused victim to live. There is so much more I want to tell you, but it will have to wait until you are old enough to understand. To be sure our heritage isn't lost to you, I'm leaving this letter for you to find. Remember, my Lauren, that you are loved always. What are you doing? That's private. That was very scary. Okay. I'm sorry, Lauren. Sometimes my curiosity gets the better. Don't apologize. Just be Don't like, I was moving it out of the book. Didn't you hear me? I'm sorry. I admit, I shouldn't have... Don't tell you read. You read it. Would you mind talking about it? It seemed personal. You don't have to worry about me mentioning it to anyone. Please? Do you know who Tichaba is? I don't. But I would love to. The first woman in Salem to be accused of being a witch. Practically everyone around here knows the story. This is her book. The original book of remedies and herb knowledge by Tichaba herself. Wait, are you saying that book is over 300 years old? Does Tegan know you have this? She would love to have it in her exhibition. Yeah, I know. But it's for me. Personal use. According to my mother, my biological mother, we are related to Tichaba. She was accused, then miraculously released. Little is known about her life after that, how she learned to write, create this book, but it's important for me to hold on to it. I don't have much, but I have this. Wow, that's incredible. Does anyone else know? No, I never shared it with anyone. I wanted to keep it safe. 
Of course. Alicia wasn't in her office. I'll just meet with her later. Thank you for watching over my shop, but please, don't touch my things again, okay? I'll keep my hands to myself, but I'd love to help you make some more remedies, if that's okay, to make up for all of this. Yes, sure. Alright guys, we're gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you're interested in tabletop roleplay games, including Dungeons and Dragons and Dread. Um, and look forward to more Nancy Drew coming up in the next episode. Cheers!